Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. Welcome to the Survivor Fans Podcast. I'm Joanne. And I'm Stacy. And this is our recap of Survivor Island of the Idols Week 5. This week's episode is titled, Don't Bite the Hand That Feeds You, and that was spoken by Missy. We start at Lyro on day 12, the morning of day 12. So Dean's down on the beach, and he's contemplating being blindsided and its implications. Yep, he's been blindsided, ostracized, and he's going to be a detective, and he's going to find out who put out the hit on Chelsea. Yeah, Detective Dean is on the case. So he goes around and visits everyone and starts questioning them. How do you think they did? Um, They all seemed unconvincing to me. kind of weird. (laughs) Weak. It was very yeah, weak it was in, weak, in yes. terms of their responses. And now, Missy and her confessional was like, yeah, Dean, I, I'm the one that... But did she tell him? I'm not, still not sure. He seemed to clamp down on her pretty hard. You're talking nonsense, he said, right? Yeah, but well, yeah. but she was talking about a showman's. And Chelsea's well, already he, said he no said in showman's. G- in general, that that was... that she was talking nonsense i thought it wasn't just that well i don't know Mm. yeah but you're right missy said yep i did it in her confessional and i feel good that i did it (laughs) and he should not bite the hand that feeds him he's still in the game because that kept him here she made that choice that's right okay um little too arrogant for me yeah yeah i was feeling that even after last tribal so that's why i have missy going this week mm-hmm. had yeah. this whole you scenario it was going to be a classic survivor gods yeah come up and i was wrong on all fronts so there you go <laughs> sometimes your intuition does not serve you you can't always go with your <laughs> that's gut. true yep i guess not everyone's mad at her when i am speaking of things that we were wrong about we thought we were going to end up with three tribes and that was not to be the case because initially right after after this we head into the tribe switch yeah which is more of a classic switch yeah though we kind of determined before it started that you know we were thinking they might just do two yeah, there were clues so we had kinda, in the previews that said, oh, maybe they are sticking with two tribes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, hmm. They could be fooling us. They could be hiding the third, you know, set up because they've done that before. But we just had a feeling. So that intuition was correct. But I don't know if that was a feeling so much as we were looking at the the pictures and we were looking at the video of the challenge and going, Wait a second. They're showing re- reward in the this on that little beach where we thought it was going to be a shuffle into three tribes. This is there's only two set up there, so I think that's pretty clear. They're going to be two, and there's going to um, be some kind of food reward at stake here. Um, yeah, I didn't put that together necessarily, but well, we had that discussion. Yeah, I don't, we've had so many. I don't remember them all. Okay. If that's your story and you're going to go with that, that'll, yeah, work. I am. that'll work too. <laughs> we talk yes, all the time, baby. It's, it's time for a tribe switch up, and so they re-choose, and Elaine is nervous. And she says she is not lucky. Yeah, well, she looked like she got pretty lucky to me. Well, when they check back with her after yeah. they draw the new buffs, yeah. 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 So on new Lyro, we end up with uh, Nora, Kelly, Jamal, Jack, and Janet. A lot of J's there. And uh, and that's a 5-3 split with old Vokai, with the um, old Lyro members being Tom, Dean, and Karishma. So Tom, Dean, and Karishma are at a distinct disadvantage there 
based on the original tribes. In Nu Vokai, we end up with a 4-4 split. We've got Elizabeth, Missy, Aaron, and Elaine versus Dan, Jason, Tommy, and Lauren. So that one's definitely going to be more challenging uh, to watch what happened well, there. Well, that, that's like right at the beginning of the show. And that already nixed my whole uh, charisma's going to get back at Missy and side with the other people <laughs> because Missy called her out in front of everyone Publicly at tribal council. And, yeah. and, you know, I was like, okay, never mind. Yeah, and at this point, Elaine, when Prop's questions her, says that, yeah, she's feeling a little more lucky now. Uh, that looked like, you know, just to see it set up, it didn't look like that hard a challenge. But the people who had to crawl through that sand, oh. Yeah, this has always been a really tough challenge. I'm not sure what you were basing that on, but it's... I don't know. When, they, when their legs and their arms are bound like that and they're attached to each other and they've got to go through the hot sand, that's, that's taking its toll on people for sure. And the, that's a, that classic fire puzzle at the end is always a fun one to watch them solve. Well, the worst part being is sticking your face in hot sand. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. When you're already sweaty. Yeah, and oh, it's just going to get all over you. Yeah. Oof. And so it's an, uh, it's an embedded Applebee's commercial, but, hey, we're happy for them to get the sponsorship yep. like that. And I think they, um, well... The castaways certainly played up the whole Applebee's angle. We'll go with that. And, hey, I'm never going to turn down some wings. I love me some wings. Yep. Never heard of a shark bowl drink, but okay. Fajitas I like. Yeah. A lot of good stuff at stake there yum, for the yum, reward. Yum. Yeah. A great opportunity to power back up. Well, but I noticed, you know, they also had other kinds of alcoholic drinks, wine and beer and stuff that they didn't even mention. Mm-hmm. But, that were uh, also available, yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, so New Vokai has a distinct advantage there, and uh, they do really well. Yeah, and again, Charisma. I have to say, Nora gained a little respect mm-hmm. trying to drag Charisma along. Now, you think she was really <laughs> dragging her? I think she was trying. I do. She kept the tension on the line. You'd have to be careful. You could actually bend somebody's arm around the way. I don't think she cared about that. The just, way Charisma was going. Just dragging her on. Yeah. I mean, you know, you got it visions of food in your mind. Yeah, it was nothing like watching Chet get dragged through. No, back in no, my, no, no, my no, no, Micronesia. No, no. Yep, that was a tough one. But she did. Uh, she struggled on, and she eventually got there. So it's just unfortunate that they had such a, a huge lead on the puzzle that it wasn't even close. Even though Jamal and Kelly seemed to be doing good there at the end. I think they will do well at puzzles because they caught up a lot. We I de- thought it was impressive. We definitely have puzzle solvers on both tribes. There's not an imbalance now where Lyro had no one that could appear to do puzzles. Now both tribes have got some puzzle solvers. So when it comes down to that, it's going to be close for sure. But New Vokai ends up winning that food reward. And Tom gets a quick confessional after the challenge is over. And he tells us it's... It's just so obvious Karishma can do anything. (laughs) There's no value here. (laughs) Well, and that, you know, he said they had put her on all kinds of different things. She said every opportunity. And different physical things, and that she can't do any of it. Yep. But, okay, at least she admits it. All right, we're uh, at the food reward, the Applebee's reward there, and everybody gets their shark bowl drink, and it's time to feast and dig in. Yum, yum, yum. Jason tells us that there's definitely a danger with the 4-4 split, and dry, having to draw rocks is one of the things that they could potentially face. And they need to get at least one Lyro on their side. Mm-hmm. And it looked like everybody had a good time at the feast. Well, except Elaine. She's not liking them laughing and getting along. We don't know these people. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She picked up on how quick Aaron and Missy were buddying up with everyone, which really was what you expected from her. I thought she was going to really excel socially in that circumstance, but what we got to see was her being worried more than anything huh? well in that section but later mm-hmm. on Aaron talks about her making friends so 
<clears throat> we'll get there. All right, back over at Lyro. Krishma tells us it's time to flip. <laughs> she runs right to Kelly at her first opportunity and lays everything out for her. Yep, they voted for me. My name's come up every tribal council, and I need to join with you guys. Tom's got his own plan, and this is really for me. I thought, you know, if Tom ends up in a situation where he doesn't have a lane covering for him or Elizabeth being his uh, communications hub, then he's going to be in trouble, and that's why he was my choice to be voted out. I thought there's a good chance he's going to lose that big social element of his game. And well, it, without that cover, he's going to be at, at a risk to go. Good job, baby. You chose and well. He he does reach out to Janet right away and says, you know, charisma is an easy vote. So he uh, he does make a connection to Janet. He's looking for... He's trying to find that Elaine, I think, and that's why he reaches out to Janet there. Well, the irony of that is is that they're the older ones now. Mm -hmm. And um, Janet likes certain things, it, and she even stated, that, you know, men his age are mm -hmm. this way. But it's the very reason that she wanted to get rid of him, too. Mm-hmm. It was an age-related thing, which I thought was irony, since they're the two oldest players. Speaking it's, of those kind of surprises, what did you think about that situation with Dean and Kelly, where they ended up, they had a mutual friend, they found out? Oh, yeah, that's odd. Mm -hmm. How would they get to that so fast? <laughs> you know, they, well, they, they I'm got sure there they quickly. recognized each other oh, since maybe they had the mutual friend. The oh, you think they Dean, actually met before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Certainly I thought maybe that they were... Kelly is, has seen uh, him with and, her friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he said uh, a girlfriend. Ex girl. Right? He, yeah, kind of on and off girlfriend. It wasn't really clear oh, what okay. was going on with him and this person that they were mutual friends with. Okay. Well, kind of cool. And uh, certainly. At least for it's him. a point of connection that he can start working right away. Yep. Yep. And he went to, to work on it. So good on him. But I was really surprised when Karishma really started. They've not shown us if she shared anything. That kind of like detail? That, that was yeah. really weird for me to watch her do that. And talking to uh, Aaron, her laundry like that on national TV. Well, awkward. especially since she was saying she hadn't spoken to her husband about it. Yeah. What, what kind of move is that? I'm. Well, I, I didn't think of much of her in the context of the game, and this was, uh, I'm thinking even less of her now, watching her air laundry like that on TV. Well, yeah, but she said that she went out there, a Part of, I think part of the reason she played, and she even said she went out there because she has things she wanted to work through. I thought part of her just wanted to get away. The lack of judgment that that demonstrates to me is just staggering hmm okay well that's her I mean, life you don't you don't go on something like this and put yourself under this kind of yeah that's just yeah wow well uh she may get judged especially in her her community where you know if there are a lot of arranged marriages still and that kind of thing, or at least pressure. Seems like it's, yeah, disrespecting that tradition, too. I, I don't well, know. I think even less of her in the context of the game now than I did before. That was a really interesting... I'm looking forward to hearing what other people thought about it, too, mm -hmm. to maybe help me see it through different eyes, but that just seemed like a train wreck in well, my, progress. My I didn't, thought was, it made me uncomfortable watching her say all that stuff. My thought was, too, that maybe... This is her way of broaching the the uh, topic with her family, her parents, who she felt shamed and pressured by, that maybe she's not able to say that to them face to face. I mean, heck of a way to do it, but maybe that's the way she's choosing, or maybe it's to make her go home and talk to them before this airs she pointed painted herself into a corner to force that to so. force that yeah because she knows it's coming out one way or the other mm -hmm. so it'll force her to go home and speak with it it sounded like she hadn't even spoken with her husband right yet. Uh, I don't. i don't know i got the feeling she wasn't necessarily unhappy in her marriage except for the fact that she didn't feel it was her choice 
but it is her choice to stay or not stay. And so I hope she can work through that and speak with him, and maybe they can work it out. I certainly do hope for the best for her, but it seemed like putting that in on TV like this was disrespectful for both of those, hmm. to her parents and to her husband. Well, that's my take on it. Yes, okay, you are an extremely private person. That's fair. Yeah. And I'm kind of, you know, an open book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's not as shocking for me as it would be for you. Because that, it, that yeah. would be shocking for you, mm-hmm. but not so much for me because, you know, I'm kind of like, I don't tell anything about myself. doesn't really matter. <laughs> I am who yeah. I am. Take me, leave me, whatever. Yeah. So... Yes, it was. It's certainly interesting to see. Yeah, and you you did have a way stronger reaction to that than I did. So, okay, over at Voca again, uh, Elaine and Missy are wrestling. I thought Missy was going to get her, and uh, (laughs) Elaine just kind of rolled her over and pins her. Yeah. So, (laughs) I think Missy thought she'd get her too. But Erin saw that as a, a seat. Elaine's making friends again. And She's working her social skills. Yep, yeah. Yeah. So, so it, it, it sort of seemed like it was a uh, signal for him. He needed to do the same sort of thing. Yeah. It's all about connecting on the personal level, which I guess that's essentially what Karishma was doing. She was using that, yep. what she was going through, to help make a personal connection. And Aaron sees Elaine working her magic, too. And so it prompts him to open up, and he sh- ends up sharing with Tommy about his son. Well, and Elaine and Missy were entertaining mm-hmm. people by doing that. Yeah. And so he, he yeah, it targets like it, Tommy. It shocked Jason, huh? He's like, You're, you two aren't like the other women we had on <laughs> the tribe. This is a whole different thing. Yeah. So, even more he's, entertaining. He's looking at those two, and he's thinking, I think they could both get me, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure they could take... Either one of them take him. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so Aaron approaches Tommy. They got each other's back. They seem to Classic both be meet, sincere. Yeah, meat shield alliance. Yep, yep. Well, and, uh, do you think they really were sincere? I don't know. Time will tell, but I kind of think they were... That Tommy, at least, is leaving his options open. Aaron, who knows? I, th- I think Aaron was genuine in that uh, when they followed up with Missy and them talking about, you know, Lyro's dead to them, Orange mm-hmm. is no more, and they're going jumping over, and I'm thinking, okay. So I guess he was sincere with Tommy. But Tommy says he wants the Lyro people out. Right. So I don't know how serious he is. Or if he would want to bring Missy along in that alliance as well. He can use Aaron for a while. Right. They have a mutually, it's like the, the mutually assured destruction kind of thing. We're both, we're both weapons. We both have this, and we're, we're both threats in this sense. So it's in our best interest to protect each other. But Tommy didn't necessarily want to vote out Molly either, but he did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... Until so he, Janet's until not he got there to different. talk to him now. That's right, so yeah. That could be an issue. Mm-hmm. It'll have an impact for sure. Okay. Though, I I don't know why Missy and Aaron are putting all their eggs in one basket right now. When, I guess, yes, I see that they like this tribe, but do they really think none of those people would join back up with their old alliances or it's yeah it's hard to see what their path to success is here yeah. other than they're desperate to win challenges yes that's the one thing that comes through clearly is that they just they're so desperate to to consistently win so they don't have to go to tribal camps right they see that as i guess as their way forward in that regard but um it, this is where it starts. you got to lay some groundwork to build a bigger alliance to get you to the end. Yeah. And they're, they see their prospects as being better now, I guess, is the one way to look at it. Got stronger people. Okay, skipping over unlucky day 13. It gets no respect. We're right on to 14 okay. and the immunity challenge. What did you think about this challenge? Uh, it was pretty good. Four people had to 
uh, swim over to the ladder and climb up and jump off. And poor Elaine tried to dive, and oh, it yeah. didn't look too successful. I thought she did pretty good, actually. Well, and then it, it looked like it didn't. she kind of hit a little. Well, she didn't make a smooth entry. It was like it wasn't like she was going to get an Olympic score off of it. Okay, but well, it was, it was enough to make me cringe. Pretty brave to do the dive and it up. seemed to inspire Dan because he followed her diving in. <laughs> yeah, so New Vokai got off to a great start. No surprise there with their physicality. They did extremely well and pulled ahead and at this port portion of the challenge. Yep, they got the buoys up fine and uh, uh, they had to balance the three buoys on a um, using ropes and a, like a circular plate. They had to balance the buoys on there and navigate an obstacle course with people on uh, thin rails that they had yeah. to balance across and Vokai did but they did very great. well with all yeah. of that yeah it's like it was just nothing they blazed right on through there and then got their buoys up to the big platform so well and jeff did not miss one single opportunity to point out that charisma was the one dragging behind at right. every portion she she actually defended herself this time she said i'm not <laughs> Even though she was, I mean, she seemed to be doing better than she had ever done before. I think that's what she was trying to convey. I, I don't know why you wouldn't just yell at Jeff and say, shut up, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. It's your opportunity, of course, right? maybe they do, but yeah. I would have anyway. Yeah. Certainly we've shut seen up, people. Jeff. We've seen people do that before, especially with returnees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's hard enough without listening to you, Jeff. Shut up. But they, they did pretty good. Obviously, they didn't do as good, but they eventually nope. got to the platform, and they got Karishma lifted up out of the water so they could start well, shooting. thank goodness they had Jamal to do that. Missy had already got, she got a, a quick basket, and then she really seemed to struggle. And as soon as Dean got up and started shooting, and both of them played, uh, essentially played college-level basketball, right? Um, uh -huh. Dean started sinking baskets and um, Missy wisely tapped out and Tommy stepped in and then it ended up being a really close challenge. That that, that part was fun, right? It was a real nail biter. Well, at the I end. was cheering for Dean at that point. Go Dean, go Dean, because that was my only shot, you know, mm -hmm. for Missy to get voted off. Right. And uh, and I was just the opposite. Yep. <laughs> go Tommy, go cheer. Tommy. Go Tommy, go Tommy. <laughs> yeah. And so they were just trading shots back and forth, and New Vokai ended up winning. Tommy sank the winning basket. He got the last two there for them. And, hey, it's a story we've seen a lot this season. New Lyro is headed to Tribal Council. And Jeff tells us that there will be no one going to the Island of the Idols Yay. this week. I so totally, no problem. totally was good with that, and it, it seems like it seemed perfect. As yeah, that fact, would have taken they, too much time away. If they, from, if they stopped Island of the Idols at this point, I would be just fine with that. You just have uh, Rob and Sandra comment at Trump. Yeah, it, it, because that seems to be entertaining for people. I Myself, I'd be fine losing that part, too. Jack tells us charisma hurt them, and he's ready for a, a W in the orange. Wants to start trip. winning, yeah. Yep, so... I thought, uh-oh. I thought for sure it'd be charisma, but Jack said that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm thinking, oh, shoot. It may not be. If there's one lesson we've learned this season is that it, nobody's safe. It could be anyone. Anyone. And back over at the uh, Lyro tribe, Dean's kicking himself a little bit because he's a Division One basketball player, and he missed it. Yeah, just before that, I liked how they came into this segment, though, because you had the Horn of Doom, which we've heard oh, before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The and rolling then, clouds. You, you saw the clouds, and you were like, oh, man, look at those waves. And there was the crashing, oh, thundering yeah. waves coming in. So I like how they, they came into yeah, that they segment into with, the, with the elements like yeah, that. Yeah, that was cool. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten that. Yeah, but you're right. Dean was publicly acknowledging that he had failed. In they, that they, did, they weren't putting that on him. Well, he caught up. He's the one who actually made yeah. it even. Yeah. So, and he was at, at risk of winning. So, without him, they wouldn't have really had any chance. Well, and Tom states the obvious. It's one of us. Yep. <laughs> 
Don't think anybody was in doubt about that. Dean told Tom that he was pretty sure he was safe, that it was really between himself and Karishma. Hmm. And I thought, well, I really hope not. Because <laughs> I, I got some hope at this point that Tom could still go. Yeah, I thought you had plenty of reason to hope for that, actually. I'll, I'll say this. I can't think of any reason other than the social threat that they wouldn't focus on getting rid of Karishma. They re- to, to give themselves a shot, because they really have a shot to win now. That immunity challenge was so close that with a little more time, Dean could have sunk that and, and won. Maybe even a few seconds. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty close in the end. But keeping Karishma around... You know, Jamal said it. She's a liability. Yep. And she just has Can't contribute physical in any limitations. Way. Yeah. She does. That's yep. just the way it is. And uh, But Karishma is selling herself. She's not giving up. She's fighting to Good stay. on her, yeah. We saw I'll her. vote whoever you tell me to. Right, right. So you just let me know before we go who you want me to vote for, she tells Jack, yeah, Janet, I'll and Jamal. Do it. Yep. So long as it's not me. Tom and Janet have one of their straight talk conversations, which, yeah, yep. Janet definitely. And I she thought that was going to be good, but then she said the, the part about, yeah. He's but, got a tribal mentality. Yeah. There's, there's something to worry about. And I thought, there's my opening right there. And it's the executioner. And Janet. until this point, I had forgotten Nora, no vote. Yeah, it was easy She's to, like, well, to I lose got track no vote, of that. But yeah. But thankfully, they had an advantage, and it wasn't anything to worry about there. So Janet tells the girls, I have Tom. And Kelly's like, well, uh, uh, were you surprised she wanted to work with Dean? Which she said makes her leery of him. And that it makes her want to keep Karishma. Because she thinks she would have Karishma's vote. We certainly heard that story before, right? Well, that was Missy's take Kelly's on the whole the thing. Kelly's the new Missy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for charisma. Yeah. And so, okay. But that would be a reason for Kelly to keep her. But not necessarily unless they're planning to make a move on the guys or, you know, they may be planning something that we've not even been shown yet to make a move within Vokai. Mm-hmm. And that they're kind of going to gather up some people that will vote together against some of the threats after the merge. Right. So, yeah, she she's clearly trying to look a little further down the road. But I wasn't sure she could talk the guys into keeping charisma. But I guess so. Yeah, if you're looking at what... I mean, the game, it's a social game. That's what you always have to keep in mind. And so if you can... If you can build something with Karishma that'll help your social game down the road, yeah. then Karishma does have value there. Now, Karishma's clearly in a goat status. There's there's no... Absolutely. There's no way for her to spin it other than that at this point. And so, really, this just becomes time for her to contemplate her life and what her next life steps are irrelevant to the game. And she gets to go further in the game and... I guess get more time to Make do more that. Money. Yeah. <laughs> well, and Nora, Nora seems to not care. She's okay with voting out strong people too, mm-hmm. even though she doesn't have a vote. Well, she's in that goat category too. Yeah. She, I don't. It's not clear I don't to think me. She knows it. Yeah, it's not clear to me she's as aware yeah. of it as Karishma is. I don't is. believe she is yeah. at all. I'm but sure. In more, like Boston Nora's, Rob said, she's in Nora's world. <laughs> she said, she's living in Nora's world. Yeah. Is, so. All is well in Nora's world. Uh-huh. Okay, now we're off to Tribal Council. Yep, night 14. Rob and Sandra are there. Tom says he found no cracks. Sandra says, those three have been to so many Tribal Councils. <laughs> they just can't stay out of Tribal. Jack tells us, though, that he was open to having conversations with everyone, which is always a good trait to have. Mm-hmm. I just don't see Jack being on the threat horizon at but all, though. did that win him any points with... Old foci saying that he's open to hearing what it they seemed have to innocuous, say. like it didn't, it yeah, wasn't, I thought so too. You know, it, it wasn't didn't mean something anything really. that would go either way. Yeah, yeah. Charisma talks about self preservation, so she's being open about it. Yep, and Janet says we need to be able to win. I wasn't sure what to make of that. 
I know, me either. I was like, okay, does that mean that you are voting, Krishna? Right. Because that's what that would seem to imply, right? Yep. Be strong to win. But, I mean, if it meant be strong to win the social game <laughs> and oh, to have the numbers. Oh. Did you catch Nora's maniacal laugh? It's hard not to. Oh. So here's, I don't think I said this. It's something you and I have talked about multiple times as we've watched her. Okay. Is that I had a family, fam, this is going to sound weird, I guess, but someone on uh, my family ended up with a head injury. Ah. And they would have outbursts like that, laughing, mm-hmm. that seemed out of place. And it, that's what it reminds me of when I see her do that. And then when I saw her, like when she was with Boston Robin, you would see the gestures and how she would adjust herself. Like, oh, I need to look this way. Like she would change how she was holding her shoulders or how she was holding her head. And, and that this person in my family would do those same kind of things. I'm not saying that she's got a head injury or if there's anything mentally wrong with her. It's just that I see that's these. That's where you go. I see these examples and it's a behaviors that i've observed in someone else and it's <laughs> i i just leave it at that i don't know what to make of it but i've seen that kind of it's outburst co- before it's confusing yeah it's it's very odd it well, at a minimum to me <clears throat> it's like a signal to stay away from that person <laughs> well the the there's instability thing for me there. is i noticed when she was out on the island of the idols sometimes it appeared and i thought well maybe it's just editing that she laughed in strange places out of context out of context yes it was like huh and so we we get it again and it even seemed to throw probst but i thought maybe it was the editing you know and i Uh let it go but we still continue to i'm like what what is she wow that laugh is just to me, that's that's the word that came to my head. She it's followed it up with some coherent statements where she yeah, was she es- essentially referencing Dean and Tom and where they stood and what they offered in the context of the game. Yeah, that Janet pointed out the old one and then the fit, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, what she said was fine. It was just that little bit of laugh before she said anything that. It's a really threw me I think off. it's even a primal thing. It's almost like it talks to your lizard brain. It says. There's something not right here. Okay, well, now, I don't have a lizard brain. You do? I don't. <laughs> I don't like okay. lizards. Don't have no lizard brain. Too much like a snake. Enough said. Move on. Okay, we'll move on. We won't talk about that then. Uh-uh. Okay. Tom said it's not about pleading. It's about proving yourself, and that was certainly something Janet could understand. She, again, referenced the straight shooters. And Dean talks about pitching himself. He, I'm here. If Boy, you can he, use me. He really put his foot in his mouth on this one. He got busted hard, didn't he? By Janet. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't talk to me. He I don't think he knew what to say. Well, I don't think he had realized what he had done. Uh-oh. It's like, whoa, I didn't. And then he had no cover for it. Wisely, he said, well, I'm not going to argue about it and backed out of it tried as gracefully as he could but she really latched on there and (laughs) he just got a huge heads up that his social game needs some work like you might want to be talking to janet from now on figure out how you can repair that buddy because that's a mess yeah he made a huge mess and she she didn't let that one slide good you are if you're not talking to me (laughs) i don't need you right so that's only well, one and I, vote, and I, but I think that tell. Well, she's an influencer. I know she is. She. We, he obviously didn't. No, he didn't pick up. He's he has completely misread her, and he's mismanaged their social relationship yeah. in the game. I think she just put him on notice, though. She did. She and she didn't have to. She could have let that slide, I guess. But she, uh, yeah, she really sent a wake up call there with her message. And Jamal mentioned that you gotta you gotta look at connections and connections to the other side. 
Yeah, I thought that was good to point out, talking about that. Sure. Well, and, again, uh, it's about the social game. And so Dean tried to, to rescue himself here. That gave him an opportunity, I guess, to Maybe that's how around. they sold Jamal on keeping Krishma, mm. was she had no connections. No, yeah, this is She's the value, right? She's got nowhere to go. Yeah. She's ours, Jamal. We can use her. Dean did jump on that, and he, yep. he seemed to make a really strong case. He said, last tribal, they flipped on me. And Karishma clearly owes somebody. So I like how he turned that. And, and she, her only response was, well, I don't know who. I don't know who Which, I owe. Tom's like, she knows. Yeah. She knows That's who not she true. Is. He didn't let that slide at all, no, huh? He That's didn't. not true. But they're all three fighting, knowing that, sure. you know, when the finger isn't pointed at that person, it's probably pointing at me. So, but they all were making an effort, and I appreciate that. So they they gave Kelly the last word where she got to say her little statement about everyone has their own truth, which is really about perception. It's not necessarily about the truth, but it's what someone may perceive to be the case that may not have anything to do with truth. Well, but your perception is your truth. (laughs) So... I think that's more what she meant. It, it is. That's and I, how I and perceive I fully, it. That's my fully, truth. Fully understand it. That doesn't make yep. it right necessarily. Yeah, our perception perception. Pers- okay, I can, even, I can, <laughs> can even easily say it be. The way you said it. Yeah, okay. can easily be wrong too. All right, time to vote. All right, we see Nora cast her no vote once more, reminding us, and we're like, oh yeah, we forgot. <laughs> no vote. Again. All right, the votes come in. We end up 2-2 for Tom and Karishma. Dean so, gets no votes. Tom and Dean voted Karishma, <laughs> the only two she got. Yeah. And the rest were on Tom. Tom is gone. Including Karishma. So. Rob's comment from the Spy Shack, they're not going to win any challenges. <laughs> well, that's a possibility in keeping her. I mean, they still could if there's... But they can't sit her out now. So this isn't throwing challenges, but the reality is they can afford to lose. Well, yeah. Right. They're like, eh, we've got we'll get three rid of people Dean. until we get back with our other people, and and then we'll all Tom. work on Here getting the rest Dean. of the Lyro Here tribe goes out. Karishma, yeah. And then we're back to old Vokai again, and yeah. we'll fight full it. power. Yeah. Yeah, amongst ourselves. Yeah. We'll Though work that out later. We know that doesn't always work. That Almost way. never works that way. Yeah. But if that's what they're thinking, then yeah, okay, we can afford to lose at least two more. That would be how it would work out rationally. I mean, you you keep someone without social power, without social agency, and they got rid of Tom. Next, they'll get rid of Dean, and then they'll get rid of Karishma. Yes. However, on the next time on Survivor, yeah, Nora talks about wanting to get rid of, you know, some of uh, her group. Mm-hmm. Once she gets that spider out of her hair, yeah. 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 That must have really been, uh, she didn't know what was in her hair. That would be scary out there. But anyway, she was trying to get something out of her hair. And, uh, but... So yeah, they're trying to, they're pitching it either way. Uh, yeah, there's certainly things to consider. And it's, I can understand why they want to, to pitch the potential excitement that comes at New Vokai with that 4 4. Who would you think Nora off. would want to get rid of? The guys? Mm, like Jamal? Or maybe uh, someone who's wronged her in some way? Well, yeah, or a big threat after the merge. She could, you know, talk to the women about hey you know jamal's big dude we could get him out now not worry about him after the merge and i don't think we'd upset any of our old uh vokai tribe except getting you, rid of jamal. you want jamal on puzzles right now so. i would but nora i don't know but i i thought maybe she was talking about uh, jamal or jack yeah could be don't know not sure. I, I just don't think they're going to I don't think they're going to have that problem as long as Karishma's there and she absolutely has to participate in the challenge. She's going to continue to put yep. them at a disadvantage. I don't know. They it's got to be a challenge where somehow they can minimize her. Yeah, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Here's the thing. I believe if they go to tribal council again, 
they will be fed up and no amount of talking is going to stop them from voting her out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Though the, the all the same stuff, all the reasons they kept her this week would still be valid. Sure, and we know that they're willing to consider Dean. But you know, my thought is Jack and Jamal obviously really don't like to lose, and uh, I think that upsets them more. Mm-hmm. That their tribe lost is is just more upsetting. I think at this point, I'm just of the mind that. I really think that New Lyro's going to continue to lose. That, granted, they've got a much better oh, chance, yeah, like we will. said, because we've got the puzzle makers. But as long as Karishma can hold them back, effectively giving New Vokai an advantage time-wise on a puzzle at the end, then they're just going to continue to lose. That's That seems like the most likely scenario to consider for me at this point. Well, they could also get rid of Nora and not seeing what advantage she would be. And especially if they found out she was targeting someone on their tribe. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, that could absolutely be the case. I mean, we've certainly seen her have this impact already. (laughs) Who was talking about uh, going to Rock? Somebody on Bokai was talking about, you know, would they want to... I remember Uh, Elaine standing there. Yeah, maybe Jason, I think, was who it was. Would they go to Rocks or something like that? Or would we yeah. go to Rocks? Or Anyway, that's an option. 4-4, four, four, you got to think about Rocks. Sure. Though, I don't think. I'm with you. We've already seen Aaron. I don't Aaron think and, they're going to Tribal. So. Yeah, I don't think they're going. And we've already seen Aaron and Missy express an interest in making sure that they don't yeah. leave it up to chance. So, so they'll I, flip. I don't see them it's doing not, that. We're not going to see them draw Rocks. you got to worry about Elaine's future. She's very likely going to get targeted again for being that, you know, ha- being such a social threat. Yeah. Well, they don't seem to care if they lose Elizabeth either, so. Yeah, there's several people who went purple for the most part this episode. Yep. Anything else? No. Nope. How about a JSFL update? All right. We have four people tied for first. We have one person lost their USB. 94 people lost a safe point. Thank goodness I wasn't in that. Uh, 33 people, congratulations, earned a vote off point, including <laughs> Stacy. Yeah. For the side challengers in first place with 22 points is called Mike. With 21 points, Randy. With 20 points, Jay Kindred, James and Shannon, Jeremiah, Rebecca, and Stacy. With 19, Brandon, Carl, Carolyn, Jack, Jonathan, Justin, Parker, and Slappy. With 18 points, we have Chris. And with 17 points, we have Drew. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, spreading out more. Yep. Yeah, this was a tough one. You really weren't sure how things were going to go in terms of the the switch slash shuffle oh, yeah. yeah and with it going to two tribes instead of three that was something that was unexpected too i think yeah i really had thought i would just you know pick nora or charisma or somebody i thought was more annoying and sure harder to get along with and then i i just couldn't i just thought i really think charisma is going to go after missy well when we were talking earlier today <laughs> and trying to work through different scenarios different ways it could play out that whole dressing down that missy gave karishma and she started off that speech in the in the previous tribal she started off with if you shoot basket if you say you can shoot baskets shoot baskets and Mm -hmm. we see that's a part of this challenge and i thought oh see that's perfect then what if she gets up there and blows it and then i could totally see it so i had her going at one point i've changed my picks three or four times you were just copying me at that point no, we were having that discussion. Yeah, I'd already made my picks. Yeah, but I didn't know that. I was sharing with you how I was thinking about it. Yeah. And I thought, well, yeah, that that makes sense. And that certainly is one, one of the stories that you get to see play out on Survivor. Where, yep. so, where someone <laughs> gets a comeuppance from being too out front like that. I thought that could have been perfect. And then I, I started thinking, no, maybe it's someone else. And who, anyone from Lyro or anyone total, but anyone from Lyro 
could be at risk since they came in at the bigger disadvantage. And then exactly, yeah. that's when I started thinking about Tom losing his protection because I thought Elaine was an important part of his game. This could be total, totally wrong on my part, but I thought if for some reason he doesn't have someone like Elaine or Elizabeth looking out for him, he's going to be in a bad place. And I don't think a lot of people are going to go in that direction, so that's why I ended up pivoting there. Yeah, I don't know if he'll, he would be as loyal to old Lyro as Janet thought. Right. But uh, I think he would be loyal to some of the people, like probably Elaine mm-hmm. at least, and maybe Elizabeth. But maybe they see Elizabeth working both sides. So I, I think Elizabeth's vote is uh, up for grabs too. Yeah, she certainly went purple again this time. Well, we're excited. We're looking forward to hearing what you thought about all these shifts and changes and what impact you think it's going to have on the game going forward. Do you think new Lyro's got a chance? Will they be able to win anything? Is there any way to minimize Karishma's impact, the drag that she presents to her tribe uh, in a challenge so that you can have a chance to win? And then what did you think about all the dynamics? Who, Who made out the best this week? Who's who's looking like they're going to have a a struggle going forward. What are you reading in the tea leaves? We're looking forward to hearing from you. We've been having great listener feedback shows on Saturdays. It's been jammed, packed with folks, super fans, calling in, writing in, and we look forward to having you join that group. The feedback's due by noon Pacific time on Saturday. We want you to keep it in that three-minute range, whether you're writing it up or recording it or phoning it in yourself the voicemail lines 206-350-1547 toll free 844-643-8737 email joanne and stacy show at gmail.com you can always find that at get sfp get sfp dot com anything else you want to add nope i think that's it i liked it enjoyed the shuffle i'm looking forward to seeing how it plays yeah. out from mm-hmm. here as we head towards the merge yeah do you sorry real quick do you have any is anyone new showing up as a potential new usb for you since we're already looking we're a couple of probably a couple episodes away from the merge i keep thinking anybody standing out uh, for you now a woman might win but tommy tommy looks good yeah but i can't imagine them letting him real, get real popular all the way choice to the end. doesn't seem likely you know so that's why i was uh I would not have thought this, but I think Kelly's playing a pretty good game. Yeah, that was mine too. That and was my takeaway. It's like I got a really, I got a. I and keep even thinking Lauren, that she's she doesn't have the skills, but she does. She definitely does. Yeah, I don't think Janet can win because I I don't think they'll let her. I think that they will think she would have a, a sympathetic vote or something. I don't know why, but because she's so nice, I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, I don't know if they'll let Janet get all the way to the end, but I, I'm i not sure if uh, anybody's working any better than Kelly appears to be right now. Yeah, Kelly and Janet, I agree, are both doing really good. Lauren's fallen into the background. She was purple this week, um, just like Jason, for the most part, was, Elizabeth was. So, um, even even Dan, we didn't I, get a handsy Dan about moment. Dan, but yeah, yeah. Other no, than he that, did dive, good in the challenge. He did great in the yeah. challenges in the sand and in the the part there in the water. Dan to man, <laughs> he did did really well. But I agree with you. I'm yeah. I've got more hope for Janet. I can see there's an opening for her towards the end now because of the majority alliance play. Back to worrying about Elaine. I was hoping. That Janet and Elaine would get together. Uh-huh. I just thought that they would get along well. Right. Because they're both tough as nails. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just thought they would get along. They're both about the same height. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just thought they would get along really well. So I um, was... Uh, we may get to see that. I think if for some reason New Vokai loses, Elaine's at risk. Yeah. For sure Could she's be. at risk. Yeah. No. As good as her social game is. But I I thought Kelly was going to be one of the 
first people to go. Definitely had and, to reevaluate that. Uh, yeah, and Janet, early on. A lot of people had Janet in that category, too. So they're, well, I thought Janet they've had been a able chance. to excel. I think I even had her in my final four. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know if she could make it at final three or not. But she could if she got a tight enough women's alliance. Uh, she could, though, lordy, lordy, would they take Nora? They should, but oh, as a I, goat? Would, sure. I would hate to see Nora. Yeah, you don't want to have to watch that all all through. Please. It's entertaining, but yeah. Yeah. Something about it's off-putting to me, too, like I said. <laughs> That's like, well... Well, we're looking forward to hearing what you think about the shift and the shuffle here, the switch that's happened, and what impact you think that's going to have on everybody's game. We're excited to put together a listener feedback show on Saturday. Come be a part. We've been having a great time. Have a good one.